All right, this is the one that you've been waiting for. Self-trace lines. Uh, let me show you what that means. So, when you run into this situation where one leg is in front of the other, sometimes you want lines to show up to show that one leg is crossing in front of the other. So let's see how to do that. First of all, I'm just gonna I'm uh, gonna find this leg. I'm gonna add a peg up above it. I'm gonna put a backdrop around it so I remember to delete me. Delete this. Delete me. Bright green so I can't miss it. I just want to move this. All right, so let's take a look and, and see what self-trace lines are. Remember that we had on the overlay lines, sorry, I'll, I'll just jump into the drawing view, shift X. All right, so on the overlay, we've got this lighter gray on the line art. We've got the black lines, color art, black fill, underlay, backup stuff, okay? So we want this overlay stuff to show up this uh, lighter version of the leg lines, but we only want it to show up when it crosses the other leg, okay? So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna plug it in. Okay, that showed all of it. We don't really want that. We'll plug this one in, showed all of it. We don't really want that. We were going to use a cutter, enter, cutter, and we're gonna say, we want to see this, but only when the other leg crosses over it. And uh, let me just make a note here. If we're looking inside of this, I'm going to go full screen. We've got a composite. That's the main leg composite, right? And then we've got the leg lighter lines composite coming through here. So let's make a note here for us and everybody else. One, these are the overlay uh, lighter lines. And two, we've got the main leg. Okay, just to help make sense of what's going on. So we're saying we only want to see it. No, oh, we, we need the opposite. We need a reveal, right? So we're going to invert it. We'll call it lighter leg lines revealed by other leg. It's a really big explanation, but I'll copy and paste that over here too. I will do the same thing. So this, the main leg, is going to show up here. So let's see if this works. All right. So that line shows up as long as it comes in contact with the other leg. Now, it looks like we might want to get rid of the line right here where the pant um, intersection happens. Or maybe we want the pant intersection to be there all the time. Let's see. Uh, let's see how it looks. So the pants intersection. I kind of lean towards. Let's just get rid of it um, for right now. That'll be the easiest thing to do. So let's go to the shin drawing view. Let's use the cutter. It's not affect all line art and color art. We'll go K, show strokes. We will um, Alt V, this is the stroke tool. Stroke tool, Alt T, get my cutter out. I wanna go for the tip style round. Cut that. Oh, we've already got a backup down there if we need it, so. I'll cut that. Okay, so now the shin no longer has um, that line. So I think 
Yeah, I think that's what we want. Just when it crosses, when there's like a walk cycle or something, you'll be able to see what's going on. Um, this does look weird, doesn't it? Sometimes self-traced lines do. <laughs> uh, not everybody likes them. But this can help us to distinguish them between each other. And then what happens if we push this behind the other foot? Alt up. Oh, we've got it working the other way. And uh, I think that that will be just fine. So now what I want to do to call it good is I want to delete that other offset little peg that I just put there to help us test it out. Kind of cool though, huh? So that is automated, finished that, and that's how you do self-trace lines. See you soon.